Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Previous video I did, a viewer had written in um, suggesting that uh, video was now going to be pushing resolution. In other words, the advances in video, like when we got to 8K, was going to be pushing advances in megapixels on sensor size. We have a viewer with an opposing opinion that's fairly well articulated as well that I wanted to discuss. Sully Cortez, one of our regular viewers here at Art of the Image, always glad to have Sully's opinion because he, uh, he has some, some good thoughts that he, he shares with us. Sully writes in and says, I truly believe stills will push sensors, not video. The reason being, cine lenses are few and far between and are very expensive to make. Having 8K as the gold standard will require brand new cine lenses that can handle 8K as the everyday norm. It's much cheaper to make photo lenses, therefore I think photography will still drive sensor size. Now, will photography surpass 8K anytime soon? Yes, there are talks of two 12K large format digital still cameras being made by a reputable company. That exceeds the latest offering from Hasselblad and Fuji with their medium format sensors. This would also mark the first time in history we would ever have a large format digital stills camera. Which, that's uh, quite interesting. I don't know if I saw that news. I'm going to have to look that up, Sully. Um, yeah, large format digital still camera. Interesting. And I wonder what the market would be on that. That's obviously not going to be flying off the shelves. It's a very um, specialized segment of the market that would be interested or could afford that or require it for that matter. Um, and then we had a reply from HKSR34GTR. That's the YouTube username to Sully's comment, and they said, I can't help but wonder what kind of megapixel count will be on offer with a large format digital stills camera. It seems Hasselblad already has a 100 megapixel sensor available in one of their medium format cameras. My curiosity is with the resolving power of lenses, and will they be able to keep up with skyrocketing mega megapixel counts? I love megapixels, but I also love pin sharp images. And that's a good comment too, because this has been debated a lot is where and when do we hit the point where the sensor is out resolving what the lens is capable of delivering in other words we don't have lenses capable of matching up to what the sensor can give us that argument was made when the d10s uh, well, i guess it would have been the d800 when the 36 megapixel camera first came out but i think that was fairly fairly well put to bed. We have a lot of good lenses that deliver very well on that 36 megapixel camera. Same with the 50. That argument was made again with the 50 megapixel Canon 5DS, 5DSR. And there are some lenses certainly that I wouldn't want to shoot from the Canon lineup on that camera because it will out resolve them. But there are some that are decent. And I think they do deliver um, and make use of the resolution. So obviously going to be an issue Except, for, well, it is and it isn't because it depends. If you're making a brand new large stills format camera, a uh, large format stills camera, you're going to have a, a new set of lenses. So you're going to design lenses designed for that camera. So it probably won't be an issue because of that right there. You're going to have to bring out new lenses for it. Um, and back to Sully's point, what do you guys think? Are you Do you agree with Sully that you think um, stills is still going to push sensor size? And... Interesting thoughts on the fact that cine lenses are few and far between and expensive to make in comparison to photo lenses. Do you think that's the reason? Let me know what your thoughts are uh, in the comments below. Um, what do you think of what Sully's saying here about the cine lenses and, and still, still driving sensor size? And then again, um, to continue, the further comment about um, the lenses. Are we going to be running into problems with lenses and the lenses being able to resolve the megapixels and the resolution? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for your feedback, Sully. Thanks for your feedback, HKS. Much appreciated. And looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.